Well, as you can see, I'm down the woods. This is uh, one of my favourite woods to come walk down. A couple of miles from home. Uh, I like coming down here. There's lots of different trees with interesting shapes and branches that curl and twist and reach out. I love being in the woods of the energy of the trees and sights and sounds, the peace. Um, I've walked lots in lockdown. I've kept a tally and just the amount of miles that I've walked just, just, for, the, just for walking. So uh, I've topped 1500. Um, and it's mostly places like this. Takes me back to childhood. Remember a wood we used to go walking around and exploring in. We talk about things like bears and wolves and elves and goblins and stuff. I'll have been about ten, nine. Me and a couple of friends and we'd always come out of there stinking of moss and wild garlic and covered in dirt. <laughs> If I wasn't walking somewhere like this that brings memories of that back, I can walk across country and that reminds me of when I was about 12 and we used to walk miles over the Yorkshire Moors with a neighbour and his dog. Um, yeah, so it's good to come walking. It's kind. Kind for my mind. Kind mind. Hmm. And sometimes when the weather's not so good it looks like it's going to rain or it's cold, windy or I'm just not feeling that the weather inside is inside me is, is very pleasant and I don't want to come and walk and I have to um, motivate myself somehow to get out and for the first few hundred yards my body and my mind are grumbling and moaning because they don't want to go the inner boy probably doesn't want to go. And after a few hundred yards, the chatter stops and the moaning in my body stops. And I'll sometimes listen to music, get a bit of a pace on in time with the music. <laughs> it's amazing how far you can cover when you do that in such short times, over four miles an hour just. Um, most of the time it's a nice slow walk don't need to rush it's not a walk to get anywhere it's just a walk to walk um, the effects this has on me as I've already said the memories the quietening down of the mind the slowing down of what's going on inside my body I carry quite quite often not so much as when I was younger, but quite often I mean, uh, agitation, a fuzzy feeling around my solar plexus, um, which I know is attached to anxieties and stress and rushing around. And being in places like this yeah, can make that go away. So it's a very compassionate thing to do. Sometimes might see animals, squiddles and what have you and occasionally you could hear a, a woodpecker. Today we can't hear much. What we can hear perhaps if the wind blows a bit more we may be able to hear the sound of the wind for rushing through the leaves. I've been blessed today. It, you know, it's it's um, nearly the end of October, and the sun's shining. Um, so that's really, it's really nice. Hear the crows in the background. I like crows. 
boss birds, crows. Don't take anything from any other birds. No messing with the crows. Um, when I'm in somewhere like this, quite often I'll uh, I'll do a 10 minute walking meditation. So I'll explain. I'll explain how that goes. Um, you just stand still and notice what's about. Notice what's going on, what can you feel and hear and inside as well as out. A few deep breaths. Slow, low into the belly. And then take that breath in through the nose and then breathe once you've expanded from the diaphragm and to breathe out through the mouth and purse your lips slightly to restrict the flow so that the out breath is longer than the in breath has a very calming relaxing effect and then you start to walk and Concentrate on what's going on from the knee downwards. And into the feet. As the wind's picking up a little bit now. You may not be able to hear me very well, but I hope so. Um, yeah, there's a mantra that goes with the walking and you slow the walk right down and as the bottom of the leg swings forward from below the knee just concentrate on the sensations that are there in the stepping then as the same foot hits the earth the heel goes down and the foot rolls forward to the ball and the toes spread and all the sensations can feel there that's stepping no it's not it's placing <laughs> yeah my, my, my mind had wandered a little bit then um, yeah sorry stepping the leg moving forward placing the foot down and then the lifting um, as the ball of the foot lifts and the toes bend. Feel what it's like for the ankle to lift up and the heel. And so it's stepping, placing, lifting. Stepping, placing, lifting. And we do do that for each foot we change foot after after the lifting so uh, right foot stepping placing lifting left foot stepping placing lifting right foot stepping placing lifting and on it goes and it's as I said earlier it's not a walk to get anywhere it's just a walk and keep the attention down into the soles of the feet and a gentle panoramic gaze and stop after three or four minutes just to look around and drink it all in three or four nice deep breaths again in through the nose and out through the mouth and do three or four of those and then commence walking again stepping placing lifting change stepping placing lifting and just on and on and on same thing what I find after I've um, maybe done that for 10 minutes and stopped three times in that 10 minutes for a breath and a look around any agitation that I was feeling has gone completely I'm totally relaxed uh, and at home comfortable where I am 
that's why I like coming down the woods. And also, you get something, now we can hear the trees. And the word, there's two words for those that noise. It's either sithurism or susurration, two beautiful words to describe the wind as it flies through the trees. I heard once that forestry workers can tell what type of tree it is that they might be stood under just by the noise that the wind makes because the leaves are different sizes and have different rigidities and some are thin and narrow and some quite spread out and some a bit plasticky feeling and what have you so these, these trees all make different noises some are more flexible with the wind and move more like poplars do uh, birch Maybe an oak tree doesn't move so much, so yeah, they can tell. But I'm sure that there are peoples that live throughout the world that live in forests and can probably tell you what song the trees are singing, never mind what type of tree it is. So yeah, the noise that they make. I love the energy in the trees. I love the safety, dependability nature of trees. Hmm. I'll leave you with that.